is Raquel with paints and glitter. I am going to do some housekeeping really quick here and try to get my video on my phone to see if I can focus where I need to focus here today. If you can bear with me one moment. There we go. And I do apologize if, let's see here. If you're re-watching this, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna to try to focus my camera here real quick so that you can see my desk and not all the other messes that you might run into here. Let's see, oh, I think that might be a little bit better. There we go. So I'm gonna wait a minute uh, because obviously I'm the only one here. And I did announce this on Instagram. However, as I've said before, I'm not the best at this sort of thing. So i um, going to look here. All right. So if you do join me, please say hello. I do welcome you to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Raquel. And as I said before, this is Paints and Glitter, which you probably already know from the title of my channel. And what I'm doing is working on coffee theme projects among other things so I figured I should come along and say hello and give you guys a uh, I guess a little bit of an update even though I've made a couple of other videos this month but I haven't been around um hi Aretha thank you for joining me um I've been I was sick and I'm just now recuperating so my plans <laughs> for uh, uploading videos during the month of December went downhill very fast. I was unable to do any of that. So I am here today and what I'm going to do is show you guys what I've been working on. So as you can see here, my table is full. I went ahead and cut some items. I uh, already assembled a couple of them. And what I decided to do was um, to go ahead and make some coffee themed crafts. So if, you, if you're not familiar with Christian from Christian Crafty Adventures, I believe is her Instagram name. Um, she was asking that we join in the month of January, January, I should say, to make coffee themed crafts. And I thought, why not? It's so much fun to craft with the coffee theme because it's always timely. If you like coffee or any hot drink, it's actually, um, thank you so much, Aretha, I appreciate that. If you enjoy any hot drink, because it can be any hot drink or even um, any type of tea, it doesn't have to be coffee, um, then you can join in. And I enjoy all of those caffeinated drinks, so. <laughs> um, and yes, I'm, I mean, I wasn't horribly sick. I, I just was, um, it's lingering, I guess is what I should say. Um, so I apologize for my voice if I sound a little croaky. I did I do have some coffee here on the side and some water. Um, so let me show you so far what I have because I've got, when I get to cutting paper, ideas come to mind. And you probably already know how that works, where you start just going crazy, cutting cutting away, or um, trying to come up with different ways to use the same dies and that sort of thing. So here's what I've done. I got this die set, and I know I said in the description of this video that I would be using tonic dies, and I will be. Here's one of the sets that I mentioned, and let me see. I don't think I have... Okay. This... And I, bear with me. This says Coffee Collection. Okay, I wanted to make sure I gave you the correct name. So this is Coffee Collection from Tonic Studios. It did come with a set of stamps, which are right here. And this is um, a complete set that was made available back in, I think, the beginning of December is when this was released. And it did sell out in the uh, U.S. website. I'm not sure if the U.K. one still has it. Um... Thank you, Maureen. Yes, I feel like I haven't been here in ages. So I intend on using that. And I also got this little set. 
I think I was, you know, I was sick. This is my justification. I was sick. I wasn't in my right frame of mind. So I went on Amazon <laughs> and started clicking on stuff. Um, anyway, and I got this in the mail. And this, I think, is absolutely adorable. I have no idea who's behind the design of this set. But it came with a bunch of little coffee cups of the tall design. And also the, you know, just kind of regular little mug. And then all sorts of little sleeves, toppers, uh, you name it. And my favorite part, I think, is that it came with these little coffee buttons. So let me show you what that looks like. Um, because I can describe it all I want, but it looks better when you see the final product. So I'm just going to set these aside for a moment. I might end up cutting more. Depends on how this video goes, of course. Um, try not to plan too much, because if an inspiration strikes, that, then that's the direction you take. So I'm going to move this over just a little bit, because I'm just seeing here that I wasn't centered. Uh, a little bit more, maybe. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to make sure that you get the best view here because I've got a lot going on on my desk. Um, these are the items that I've cut out so far. So let me start here with that little die set that I was just describing. So you can make this little guy here. Hopefully I'm in frame. And what I'm describing here is, of course, the, the little dome topper. And then it comes with a little band there that you can place. What I've done is that I use uh, gaudy glass glitter to just make that nice and sparkly. It comes with the sleeve, okay? And this stamp that says You So Mocha is from Tonic Studios. I just love that kind of punny uh, sentiment. It makes this whipped top. So that's the same cup. The difference is that I went ahead and used... Um, the um, Tonic Studios stamp here that says better latte than never. And then that one I did cut out using the die from Tonic Studios that cuts, it cuts out a sentiment, but you can use it on its own to cut out that background. And then I did color it with Nouveau Drops. I added these two little sticks here, which I think are so adorable because you know you can get specialty coffee drinks with a little, um, the the little chocolate straws so i went ahead and added those and i also added nouveau drops to that and here's another one so this is kind of like the medium size cup if you will and here what you're seeing is that i did use the little coffee cup button and i tied some yarn through it made a little bow placed it on top and added tons of glitter to that whip topping and then also Nouveau drops on the little straws or I mean the little sticks whatever you want to call them because you could use them as straws if you wanted to so that's that medium size here's another of the medium size what I did here is that this little this little band here that you can use and I hope I'm in frame guys I'm sorry if I'm not you can use it with this little um the dome top what I did is I flipped it upside down and then added that. Um, I stamped the little sleeve with a tiny little stamp here that I've had for ages and it says girl power. <laughs> so I figured why not have some fun with it. I stamped it a bunch of times there. And then I did add, uh, in this case, this glitter here, which was given to me by Carolyn from Tea Time and Dolls. So if you don't have chunky glitter, this will work. Um, and that gave me that nice shine there so i have a delay on my phone and this is why i'm trying to make sure that i am in frame because i can't always tell so what i want to do here is I, I got a little smudge there i wanted to go ahead and add another little coffee cup on top with some yarn and cover that up because why not so here's the yarn that i was referring to um oopsie now I've got little marshmallows here and there. We've got all, all sorts of stuff. So why, uh, why not just complete one here? Um, and you can decide when it comes to these things 
how much color to add to them. In fact, I've got some blue here. So let me just go ahead if I can. What I generally do is I start off with a plan and if that plan doesn't work, I just improvise <laughs> with whatever else I find in my vicinity. I don't know if anyone else crafts like that, but that's what I tend to do. And if it makes me happy, then that's the only qualification that I will have for the craft at hand because sometimes you don't have to craft with the end result in mind necessarily. You can just do it as, you know, something to help you um, just uh, meditate on other things. Uh, that's something that I do often. So I will listen to a nice podcast or listen to maybe a, uh, a book on, um, uh, well, it wouldn't be called book on tape anymore, <laughs> audio book. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm dating myself. Um, so yeah, listen to an audio book, that sort of thing, and then craft. Just keep your hands moving. It's, uh, it's a wonderful way to just still do the things that you enjoy, still, you know, maybe get some education in and all that stuff without having to just sit there. Um, so here I'm just, I don't know if you guys could tell, but all I did was put the yarn through the little button um, coffee cup. And uh, what I'll do now is just tie a little bow, which I know is difficult to see, but I'll show you guys up close once it's done. And this again is just a little snippet of yarn you guys saw me cut. I hope you're all doing well, Maureen and Aretha, and I, I don't know if uh, there was someone else here and they left, but um, I hope you guys have done well, and since I haven't really seen, quote-unquote, any of you since before Christmas, I hope if you did celebrate Christmas that you had a wonderful time with your families. Um, I was blessed enough to get to see my oldest son, who know he's out of the home already, so um, he lives in a different state, and he was able to come and visit, which was, of course, delayed because of me being sick, but um, I'll take any visit that I can from him, because it's hard, you know, when you don't live in the same area and all that. Okay, so here we are. Again, it's just a little embellishment. Whatever you do with these is up to you, of course, but these can be add, added. Um, oh, thank you, Aretha. Yeah, these can be added to whether it be a memory dex card, a topper, anything like that. So I'm going to just continue showing you. This was the third. Um, or no, I'm sorry. This was also, did I show you guys? No, I didn't. All right, so this was also the medium size cup. And as you can see here, what I did was that I used that little dome piece instead of doing like the whip that you see here. Um, and then I did cut that out of vellum that's laminated. And behind that is the brown sort of coffee. Um, and here is the third option that you can do with that die set. And this is the traditional coffee cup here you see some gold, um, this is actually vinyl that I cut out, but I had a horrible time working with it, so I actually tossed it. It was Cricut vinyl, and I think it's an older version or something. I don't know what, what was going on, but it wouldn't cut, wouldn't cooperate, so it's gone now. And then this here says Inspire, and I wanted to show you something that I often like to do. I like to take ephemera pieces, and if they say words, like this one says Travels also, I will use the die cuts that come with a set and cut those out. And it does have to work for me because it's already got the sentiment. It has a pretty background there. And then it's just a matter of layering it. Here I did use my alcohol markers to color in the coffee. And I was just using up papers that I had in my stash that I thought would look really sweet because I love the pastels, of course. And then here, this one is that tall cup again. I use the regular little topper that comes, you know, the little lid. Oh, yes, Aretha, I can understand that. Sometimes it's best to just keep moving, you know. 
Um, so that little coffee cup button, let me show you. A, okay, here it is in white. So I did double it up, by the way. I like to double up my embellishments. So I cut it out in a different color and I threaded this yarn through here and I used it as an embellishment there on top of the sleeve. And I just thought it was so sweet. These are the smaller ones that you can cut. So these I just did plain, if you will, you know. But of course these can then get little pearls in the center or anything like that to finish a project or you can put it inside of a card and that will look really sweet too. Um, here again are those little buttons in case I didn't show them earlier. I think I did, but I can't remember now. <laughs> but those are the little buttons. I thought they were so cute. Um, it also comes with several other little uh, pieces there, which are the sleeves, if I didn't mention that. So you get a lot, uh, a lot for your money or, you know, a lot of variety there with just one die set. So super fun. Now what I would like to do is that I wanted to create some embellishments and what I want to do here is that I just want to pick a simple shape. Um, I think this size would work really sweet with that. Yep. So I'm going to cut out some backgrounds and for this what I like to do and this is before I move on to the Tonic Studios one. I just want to show you how you can use something like this. And I mentioned um, using ephemera pieces and that sort of thing. So bear with me one second. <clears throat> I didn't want to forget that I had a package here. I've been reorganizing my room and getting some things out of the way and that sort of thing. And I found some some really cute, um, just ephemera that I hadn't used. You know, things that get left over from previous projects. And I figured, you know what, um, I may as well use them now. I think this is kind of funny. Um, so... Let me see if this, no, I don't want to cover it up, so I won't be able to use that. All right, it's on the side here for whatever, but to reiter reiterate my point, I'm just going to go ahead and cut this piece here, okay? And then I can make a piece of ephemera out of that. And of course, if you happen to have a die cut that you really love, then if it's something you reach for frequently, it makes it fun to use. Um, if you're referring to this set here, I got it from Amazon and it was just a random purchase. Let me try to zoom in a little bit more so you guys can see what I'm doing here. And I, as I said before, I have a delay, so I do apologize. I just want to make sure that you guys can see what I'm doing here. Um, maybe that's better. Okay, so I'm trying to show you guys here the pieces that I've cut out. No, I need to go this way. Thank you so much. Yeah, I do. I agree. It's very darling. And I mean, look at how much you can cut out. And of course, these are just little leftover pieces. So I should set those to the side. But all right, I'm trying to see which direction I need to move in. I think I need to go this way. <laughs> I feel like I'm migrating over here. All right. It's like everybody over there this way. Okay, now I know where where to be. Okay, I wanted to make sure you could see all of these pieces. Okay. Live videos. All right. There's so much fun. <laughs> I'm trying not to be cynical, but I get annoyed. Okay. Um, so these are all the pieces that you could cut and it came, you know, typical that you have to take it apart. And that took longer than cutting all these papers for me anyway. Um, 
So what I want to do here is, as you could tell, I did cut away um, just a piece like that. Um, hi, Louisa. Thank you for joining us. I am... Um, I'm just joining in, and I mentioned this, I think, maybe, I don't know, I'm not quite there yet. <laughs> that Christian uh, mentioned the the, uh, the coffee theme projects for January, and I figured, hey, why not, you know, I would love to make some little embellishments, because there's some ladies that will be receiving um, some coasters from me that were overdue from a live video that I did back in December and I had promised I'd be back and I didn't come back because I got sick so here I am and I figured you know what I will add these as a little surprise for them in the package so I figured out why not make them coffee theme add them in the in the mail and oh thank you so much yes I know today's a good day for uh, for live videos, so that'll be fun for sure. <laughs> so here I am, just using one of the little cups that I made, and there's that. So of course I had already pre-assembled the actual cup, but how easy is that? Just to put it on a really uh, happy, colorful background. You know, and then of course I can use a sentiment and pop it on there. Let me see if I, as I mentioned before, if I happen to have something, if it works, then why not? So here I found, um, this one says just us girls. And I think that's super cute. So let's go ahead and put that there because this could of course be used with a picture of you and your bestie or if you have a daughter, you know, anything like that. I think that's super cute. So that finishes one. And this is just from a kit that I happen to have and not had not yet used. I'm going to go ahead and cut another one. Now this says, um, let's see here. Sometimes these papers already come with a sentiment. I completely disregard that. It doesn't matter to me. Like here it says shine, but I'm just using it as a background. The same way that I did here with this little coffee cup. It, it had a word there. It doesn't matter to me. Um, so to make my second one, and of course I'm using this because it has the same color palette as what I have already cut. So now it's just a matter of putting another one there. And it fits, so I'm happy with that. Let me see. And this already has a sentiment, so... Um, why not add love you up here, maybe? as kind of like a little flag, or let me see if I can make a flag out of that. Hmm. Just when you think you got all the supplies you need. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to make it up as you go along. Let me see here. Um, I just happen to have these and I've never used them before, but I don't know if they can be cut down to size. I guess we will find out, and I know you guys cannot see, but I am cutting open a package of uh, craft sticks. So let me take a peek here and see if this will work. We will find out. I have my Tommy scissors, as I call them, that will cut through anything. I'm going to try to cut this down. Oh, yeah. Wow. All right. I'm going to see. <laughs> I don't want to give anyone splinters. <laughs> so I'm trying to cut this down and it's just falling apart. And yeah, I don't think. Well, let's see if this works. Mm, I don't think so. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> you learned it here, folks. Don't use, don't use sticks that are too big and try to cut them down. 
nope, not going with that. Let me just put it on here. Oh, Lord have mercy. Wouldn't be me if I wasn't uh, just trying to make it up as I go along and not succeeding necessarily. <laughs> oh, gosh. But that's how you learn. At least, you know, you can come here to this channel and learn what not to do. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and place it like so. All right, here we go. This already has dimension, by the way, <laughs> so there's no need to go crazy. I had applied that little lid with hot glue. Oopsie, I'm, I'm out of frame. Um, guys, please forgive me today. I'm all over the place. I am trying to see my own video, and I'm not succeeding i think i'm in frame now maybe you guys will have to let me know um so in any case i was describing the little dome i placed it on here with hot glue i did um use my bone folder to give it some shape so there is dimension to that and if i hold it maybe that way and uh you know again with the camera angles it's kind of hard to see but you'll see some dimension there Okay, now moving on. I would like, um, let's see here. Again, keeping it with the theme of using these, uh, thank you so much, Louise, I appreciate it, um, of using my stash using up the papers that I have, I would like to, let's see here. I'm wondering if this is big enough to be a background because this is the Tonic Studios one. And what I can do here is cut this one out. Let's take a little peek here at how this will look. And again, this looks really sweet because it's got the double stitching. I don't know if I mentioned that. And all of these dies also have double stitching on them. So I think, you know, looking for similarities like that in your supplies will be a really good way of um, getting kind of like continuity of design, if you will. Um, and I know I'm, I probably make it sound complicated, but... It isn't, <laughs> I promise you that. All right, so I was able to cut this little shape here, which of course is another coffee cup, but it can be used, of course, as a background. And one way that I think this would look really sweet is if I use these little pieces that cut into that background, um, just to give it a little bit of a different look there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Those, by the way, are layering pieces from the Tonic Studios die set. So I just wanted to show you that. And then what I'll do is that I'm going to cut it again with a shiny piece of paper. Okay, happen to have this gold that can be a background there. And can you see me? Yes, you can. Okay, so I'm just going to cut it out of those colors because there's uh, a little bit of gold here and there in the items that I've already cut. Zoom out a little bit. I need to get some sort of program that I can use with my iPad. If anyone can direct me to one <laughs> where maybe I can zoom in and out with a remote control that would be fantabulous I don't know if it exists but I would buy it all right so here I just cut into the background and if you see the detail there it's absolutely lovely and you can really give it some um, just visual interest there and now I'm just going to layer that on there you see that? 
And that in and of itself can just be something that you use, of course, to embellish a card or anything like that. But I'm going to use it just here as a background to this piece. All right. So I'm going to add my glue. Hi, Beverly. Thank you for being here, doll. Beverly's the only person that I told that I was sick. <laughs> you were the only person I even mentioned it to. And here I am saying it now on a live video, but um, thank you for coming back. <laughs> oh, you know what, guys? I'm, I wanted to mention on here, I would like to add a little more texture, of course. So... Um, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, God is good. It was, uh, oh, hi. Is it Lise? Let me know. And welcome. Yeah. My, um, my, my son was spreading his germs. <laughs> but hey, you know what? It was only a matter of time before we were all going to get sick. And, um, it was not, no big deal. You know what? A couple days of having a fever and uh, a little bit of congestion, but nothing crazy. Uh, the only thing that I told my husband, I was like, you know what? I'm kind of glad because I got to sleep. Because <laughs> that was the one thing, the one symptom that I had was like, oh, I'm so tired. Poof, passing out, you know, and I, I don't normally sleep enough. So I was like, hey. Lisa. Okay. Thank you so much. And Lisa, uh, welcome. I don't think I've seen your name before. If I have, I apologize. I, I tend to forget. Um, but thank you for being here. These are just some silly little uh, embellishments that I'm making. But having said that, mm -mm -mm, before I forget, remember I mentioned those little bitty buttons? I can feed this and I hope this isn't too busy. Let me move these out of the way. I can feed this little button through here, okay? That little yarn that all I did now was just twirl it around the die cut. Now I'm gonna feed this little button through here and the other side. So you see, you can make things up as you go along and sometimes they turn out way better than if you had planned them, at least for me. If I plan too much, I've said this before on my videos, the more I plan, the the more I lose inspiration. So, um, because so much of life has to be planned when it comes to crafting, I just, I can't do that. Um, I have to be more spur of the moment with it in order for me to, uh, to do better. I guess that, I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, my English not so good <laughs> today. It's pretty horrible. I should be speaking in Spanish or some other language. All right, I'm going to attempt to tie a knot here. And I know that what you're seeing probably doesn't make much sense yet, but it will in a minute. As I've said before. Okay. This, yes, it is a button, and I will show you the other ones. They're so stinking cute. And this was one of those 4 a.m. purchases from Amazon that I had no business shopping for. <laughs> I don't know if I saw it on a video. I have no idea. Um, but I saw it. I liked it. I bought it. And here it is. Um... So here we are. Look at how stinking cute that looks so far. And again, these are older papers, but I'm not too concerned about, you know, that sort of thing. Um, and I'm going to layer this right on top, just like so. And this could definitely just be the cover of a card, and I might, I might just do that. But let me make sure I'm putting the glue in the right place. Here we go. So this is just gonna go right on top of here, just like that. And I will show you the other 
little button I think is here. So here's the other one. It came with two different sizes. Um, it came with a traditional little cup there. And then it came with that tall skinny cup. And they're both little buttons. I thought they were so, so cute. So of course you can keep layering, you know, if you like that look, you can keep layering little cups here and there uh, just to make it just an entire theme like that. Thank you. So there's three so far. Let me go ahead and do one more with this one. Here's the other cup in case I didn't mention. There's that other regular kind. And let's see here. I'm trying to think of how those are going to look in a package, although I might split them up. But I do have... <clears throat> Let me see here. I've got this um, circle shape die. And this is also double stitched. I'm just going to run this through and make that. And as you can tell here on the side, I've got several more pieces to work with that I did cut out using the Tonic Studios dies. Um, and here's what I would like to do. Let's just take a piece of that. I kind of like those little sunglasses. They're so cute. That's an older older paper collection you're probably all familiar with, by the way, from Recollections. And it had a bunch of little Parisian-style motifs, and I thought it would be really cute to use that. So, let me see if I can double that up. I'm not sure yet. I was thinking of maybe... Um, just to give it a little bit of a shadow there. A little pop of color. I kind of like that. So before I change my mind, I'm going to place that here. I'm going to move these out of the way because we already saw those for that one. And this can go right on top here, but it's looking a little monochromatic. So let me go ahead and use maybe... Mm, nope. Try to see which one's going to pop more. All right, I think I'm going to go with that one. And maybe I want to use this one. Maybe this one. It's got that little bit of gold there. What do you guys think? Should I use the one with the blue? It says girl power. I kind of think that one's better because it's got the little shoes there. Yeah, I think I decided on that and let's see here I also have from the other die set that cuts out the uh the whipped cream if you will or whatever it's called I, you know for the uh the coffee it cuts out the little heart there it actually cuts out two so I'm going to use one of those And, let's see, actually, I want to use two. Just trying to find another little golden heart here. Here we go. Okay. Oops. Because there's a heart there, there's actually two, because there's, there we go. I think I'm going to like that. Okay, so that one's going to go here. And a tiny little spot of glue for that one. And one more here. And again, this is the one that I stamped that says Girl Power. I just thought that was cute. Okay. There's that embellishment done. 
I hope you guys like it. There's quite a bit of shine on the top here. And I might actually go back and add even a little bit more just because I love adding texture to my crafting. Um, I think it it really adds a punch to whatever you make. That's why I like adding things like yarn and glitter and all of that cute stuff. Thank you so much. And it, you know, it also stretches your supplies and it's a good way to go ahead and use up older pieces of paper that you might still have. I know that I certainly do. Um, I've got this little envelope here full of papers and I just refuse to get rid of my scraps because I find that they're so useful for embellishments. I really enjoy them. Here's another piece that I just found that's got numbers on it. So I went ahead and made four embellishments here and I think I have four more. Let's see here. But, all right, I might do those off camera. I want to go ahead and move on to the bigger um, pieces here that I have. So I'll do one last look at these, okay? Just fairly simple in my opinion. There's those. So I'm gonna move these aside now. And now we can go ahead and use the, uh, the other dies that I cut out, which were the Tonic Studios ones. And the base cup that I cut out looks like that. With the same die set, you can cut out your little whipped cream there. You can also cut out this piece that uh, does the, the uh, foam art, if you will, or the latte with a little heart. I thought that was so super sweet. And you can also cut out the bigger cup that I just showed with the, uh, the embellishment that I made. Of course, you can cut the, the shadow or the background. It does come with layering pieces like the one that I showed that you can cut into the background or you can cut it separately as I've done here. It's up to you. And you can cut out um, steam. Let me show you that. There's actually two different kinds. Here what I've done, let me show you this way, is that I cut out the steam out of acetate and then I use a gold pen to trace what would be the little stitch marks on there. But if you want to see how this looks on another card that I still have here, I've yet to mail this one out. This is a finished card using that die set that I made, and here's the steam. And all I did was go over it with a jelly roll pen in silver. But that's another way that you could use that, and here's another way you can use the little cup, which is to use the... Um, the die that cuts out the little details there in the background. So super sweet. Hi Ines, welcome. So here are some little marshmallows you can cut out with it, which I did cut out with glitter paper. Um, what else? You can cut out, I think, I, yes, I mentioned the hearts, I mentioned the steam. And, oh, the little spoon, which you saw on the card, here I've cut it out of gold. So it's trying to keep that same girly theme. And then there's coffee beans all over the place. <laughs> they keep falling all over. But you can cut these out. And these are a bit fiddly, but they do come in two different sizes. And they cut out the center. So if you want to make them shiny in the background and all that good stuff, you can. Here's the rest of these little swirls of steam. So let's try to make something with this. Um, super fun. Yeah, it's a, a beautiful, beautiful set. I was thinking of making a tag. So let me pick a shape that I like. Because again, these can be added to backgrounds and just make a super quick card. Um, I like this set here from Tonic Studios. It's an older one called Mythical Glade, and it comes like that. So I, I'm hoping to be in frame, guys. Here we go. So I'll give you a little pan of that. 
this uh, you can make beautiful tags with. So I'm just going to pick one here. And I'm hoping that this is a good enough size. It is, yeah. So I just have this older piece of paper here that I thought was really cute. I think this might be Maggie Holmes. I'm, either that or Cartabella, I can't remember. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that out. Start there. <clears throat> And of course, you can go super girly like this with glitter and all that, or you can do shabby chic. Uh, you can do this in a masculine um, palette, whatever you like. There's no rules when it comes to that. Um, so here's my little background. I'm going to go ahead and grab this tall one. And what I was thinking was, as you can tell, I cut it out twice with vellum. And then I cut it to where it has um, the inner portion empty there. And that's just by layering the dies that came in the set. I am a tonic enabler. Of course I am. <laughs> Why wouldn't I be? <laughs> if I spent all my money there. <laughs> oh, gosh. It just makes it more fun to share the things you like with your friends. Um, and yes, I do have links. <laughs> Of course, um, I'm going to try to grab some sequins. Oh, you know what? I have these. I almost forgot. I went to Walmart and found this. It's called Glitter Confetti Glitter Sprinkle and Sparkle. Super cute. And it's a bunch of little hearts and everything. And oh, thank you so much, Louisa. This is what happens when you, you're just laying about for days. <laughs> Your nails grow. <laughs> That's another benefit of being sick. <laughs> Didn't have to clean anything. Actually, I've been I've been cleaning and I'm just like, please don't break. Please don't break. Um, but this little um, heart uh, sequin, you guys know what I'm talking about. I can't remember the words, guys. I'm so empty brain right now. The mix, the mix, the mix. I'm thinking might be visible through here. You guys know vellum is kind of tricky. Sometimes you can see it and sometimes you can't. Um, but because it's got the brighter colors, I may as well give it a try. And this is not the better way to go about making a shaker, but as you probably can tell, I don't get too concerned about that sort of thing. By the way, before I forget, um, my girlfriend, um, Lady Cree, she is selling some gorgeous, and I mean gorgeous sequin mixes on her Instagram page. She has her own little, you know, side hustle. So please, please, please. Um, okay, to answer your question, Lisa, yes. I th I'm pretty sure I got that in the craft section. So it is from Go Create. So let me give you a close up because I know I'm all about the details and I want to see the details. Okay, Go Create. In case you want to take a screenshot. And then here's the rest of the bottle. And I, I'm pretty sure I found this where they have the little crafts for the kids. In fact, I was at Walmart because of Louisa. <laughs> I was looking for the dyes that Louisa showed on her channel. And of course my Walmart didn't have them. But whatever. <laughs> I'm not resentful. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, so Lady Cree is selling this gorgeous mix of sequins that I had purchased from her as a bundle. By the way, she also has um, beads, gorgeous, gorgeous beads that you can use in your crafting, um, that you can add and they match, of course, perfectly because if you know anything about Lady Cree, she's very uh, into matching everything and all of her projects are just so uh, elegant and spectacular. I, I really like her taste. So, um, so yeah, hit her up, get your sequins from her. You won't regret it. Um, she packages them beautifully. And that was only one vial. I shared one. I gave it away to, I think it was um, Eileen. Yep. And then there's still another vial. 
and I still have a bunch of other beads that I didn't even show you guys. So just to let you know, it's uh, very good value. <laughs> yeah, Louisa, we're in good company. We all, you know, we all love to uh, enable one another and that's okay, you know? Nothing wrong with that. Because if you like nice things, then why not share share what you like with your friends? You know, it'd be different if it was cigarettes or something like that. Like, if you're into smoking and you want to tell me what kind of brand cigarette you're into, don't talk to me. Because <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> but if it's craft materials, you know, it's good for your health. <laughs> and it's good for other people's health, too. Because the longer you're crafting, the less likely you are to do harm to others. <laughs> And that's my PSA. <laughs> anyway, here's my little shaker. You can tell that just took two seconds to glue together. And yes, you can see the little hearts through there. So we don't want it to look, you know, don't want that looking ghetto. <laughs> so uh, we want to go ahead and layer the piece here. And before I do that, hi, Chiquita. Thank you for being here. Before I do that, I want to um, just looking for a color here, guys. I didn't leave. <laughs> I want to add some sparkle to that. <clears throat> and okay, I think I'm gonna go with this color. This is called if there's any left in it. I don't recall the name. What's the name? What's the name? What's the name? Uh, I don't know. It's some sort of pinky color from uh, Nouveau. Just gonna grab a piece of paper here. Oh, thank you, Louisa. Yes, and I hope to be able, if when I finish here, <laughs> I hope to be able to join you. Um, if I do, it'll probably be, uh, quietly because I'll, I'll need to rest my back, of course. So if I'm watching you quietly, it's just because I'm, uh, watching you on my TV. So sometimes I don't comment and doesn't mean I don't want to say hi. But God bless you. And thank you for stopping by, hon. All right, so this seems to be on its last leg. So I'm probably going to have to cover that up with something and that's okay. I'll just color it in with a marker or something. But this was supposed to be glimmery. <laughs> I guess I used it up. Um, let's try this color. And hopefully there's ink in here. Oh, goodness. I think I need to buy some more markers. Wow, wow, wow. Surprise, surprise. I used them up. Um... Third color. <laughs> this one's gold, or it's supposed to be anyway. It's a little more on the yellow side than it is anything else, but hey, it looks cute on top of the pink, so let's go ahead and do that just to finish that up. Throw those out. All right, moving on. I'm going to layer this on top of here. It's had plenty of time to dry. Because if you don't know this about Nouveau Glue, uh, it is phenomenal and it dries very quick and you don't need a whole lot. Which is why I was comfortable making a shaker on a live video with sequins and all that. Of course I drop it. <laughs> but now I'm just going to layer this on top to finish this up real quick. And you can tell this is not very dimensional, but it's the thought that counts. It's okay. Not everything has to be super bulky. All right. And it does dry clear, if I didn't mention that. All right. Just like that. Now, if you're into stitching, which if I weren't doing a live, I would totally go that route and do some stitching with gold thread all the way around and that would look super fabulous. But for the sake of not keeping you guys here for too long, 
in case you want to go see Louisa and uh, Eileen also, which would be fun, of course. Then let's see if I maybe finish this off with some foam like that. And this could be a, a tall, fun drink. Um, I don't want to add anything that alludes to um, it being hot. So I think I'm just going to go with that. And this, of course, was the background with vellum and then the top with that pretty glitter paper. Yes, I agree, Chiquita. Um, understated can be absolutely elegant. And of course, as I said in the beginning of this video, what I'm doing is making embellishments to share. Um, some of these will be shared with the ladies that won my secret giveaway. I don't think I've mentioned who those ladies are, <laughs> but I had uh, my last live video and some, some ladies joined in and left me comments. And I'm so very grateful for that. So, what I was giving away, which I found to be, you know, just practical, was um, these Tonic Studios coasters and keychains. Okay, so this was the coaster, and it is ceramic, nice and heavy, with the um, cork background. And then the little keychain is super cute. It's a Nuvo bottle. And then the logo for Tonic Studios. But I didn't want to just send that. So that's why today I'm making the little embellishments that are coffee themed to go along with it. So. I've already selected my winners. And let me see if one of them is here today. One of them who was in, and of course the winners had to be in that last live video or leave me a comment on that video. And I left it open for well over two weeks because I was not even able to check up on my own videos. Uh, but one of them is here. Her name is Beverly. So Beverly, if you could email me, um, thank you. If you could email me at paintsandglitter at gmail.com with your address, one of those coasters is yours. And the second winner, she's not here, but her name is Gina. And she goes by Gina Loves to Craft. So Gina, if you watch this video later on, I already have your address and that will be going your way. So congratulations, Beverly, and thank you for your support of my channel. I truly, truly appreciate it when you join in say such sweet comments um and i know that you're also a huge fan of tonic studios as i am so i truly appreciate it that you know we have the commonality of crafts but we also have the commonality of just being friendly to others as well as one another so i think that's wonderful and uh very admirable so thank you so much and yeah i look forward to sending some of these your way um and I'm going to try to, uh, of course, they're all going to be coffee themed, but I'm going to select from the ones that I've already made. And of course, I'm going to try to make duplicates. But as you can tell, the way that I craft, no two are exactly the same. Um, but I'll be happy to keep making little different items and then make it uh, cute for you so that when you get it in the mail, it's something that you're happy to play around with and you know use in your crafting. So this is gonna go on this background as you can see here, okay? And of course, Beverly, when you email me your address, if there's anything, and I've always, always said this, if there's anything that you have seen in any one of my videos where you say, um, Oh, thank you, sweetheart. Yeah, if you, if you know, okay, Raquel's got a stash of this, and she used it in this one video, and I don't have that, and I need that, <laughs> let me know, okay? I'm happy to share, you know. Um, it's no big deal to me. It's, uh, you know, in this, this journey of crafting and life, the one thing that I can, you know, just share with all of you guys is that um, 
the um, accumulation of things is fun. Let's, let's just face it. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun to get the things. Uh, but it's more fun to share them, I think, with those you love because it does... It, it, it creates a bridge among people that otherwise might not be there. Um, you know, and I'm a huge um, believer in the fact that there are, in my life, no, co no coincidences. So I don't think that it is for nothing that people show up and watch the videos and things like that. And that you just happen to be here today. Um, my channel name is Paints and Glitter Arts. Art, I'm sorry, with encouragement. I am here hoping to give you some encouragement when you watch my videos so that you know that you're not alone, that whatever it is you're going through today, if you need prayer, I'm here for you. Let me know. You can private message me. You can email me. Um, and I'm hoping that that's what you get away, you walk away with even more so than whatever I may have plastered together <laughs> on any given day. Um, so Lisa, thank you so much for having been here. God bless you. Um, and is that a tiny coffee cup on the side with eyes? That would be awesome with eyes. Oh, are you talking to the... <laughs> Ines, we could totally do that if you want me to. <laughs> These are... Uh, Chiquita, you're so welcome. <laughs> These are coffee beans. Oh my gosh. But let me tell you, you can have some fun <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. You know what? You, oh, total alien coffee cup. Why not? <laughs> like if you can make a drowsy face, I'm totally going to do it for you. Okay. Uh, I'm going to glue this down first though. So let me go ahead and add a ribbon because that's where I wanted to go with that. Um. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. I love people's imagination. They look like chocolate lips. <laughs> we can totally do that too. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think this is going to look cute because it's got the lighter color. But I also have um, seam binding. Oh. <laughs> it's just like, what is that? That would be me. I'm totally that person that will watch a video and be like, what's that? <laughs> my imagination goes crazy so I can so relate to that it's like is that eyeballs on your coffee cup <laughs> what flavor is it <laughs> oh my gosh sorry guys it doesn't take much to get me going but um a tiny coffee cup next to those yes I will show you Enos because you got here a little bit later than everyone else but yeah for sure <laughs> And it is a, a little coffee cup button is what it is, which I can totally add to this now that I mention it. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Let me, um, all right. So I'm not ignoring you guys. I'm making a bow. <laughs> I keep forgetting I'm out of frame. I'm just making a little bow here like that. Okay. So I made a double bow. <laughs> It is, absolutely. It is my favorite. <laughs> In fact, <laughs> these days it's the only one I'm willing to take. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so I'm going to add that cute little bow there, but I also want to thread that little button through. All right, so here's the little <laughs> eyeball. <laughs> that's the little coffee cup that's actually a button. Okay. And what an adorable little embellishment, of course. So I want to add that here, but I want to cut it out again in gold because I think that's going to look super cute. So let me set this aside for a second. <clears throat> oh, lordy, lordy. Um, gold. So wonderful way to use your snippets of paper is those itty bitty die cuts. And of course I have all these itty bitty die cuts and not a single one of those little cups. So let me just grab that. <clears throat> Thank you. And if you rewatch the video, you'll see that this is all just impromptu crafting. I haven't planned any of this. All I did was 
I went ahead and um, I cut out as many pieces as I could this morning. I just kept cutting and cutting and cutting paper. And I knew that I was going to want some shine. I was going to want it to be super girly because of the people that are going to receive it, of course, you know. And I don't think anyone minds something that's girly girly anyway. Um, <clears throat> at least those crafty ladies don't. So I figured, why not go ahead and do that? Um, I'm going to try to thread this, but I don't think it's... No, it's not going to work. I always like to have some yarn. This is embroidery yarn. That, by the way, I get in uh, reused shops. I don't spend a lot of money on this sort of thing. I refuse to. <laughs> so I'm just threading my needle here. And I do use an embroidery... No, this is... Actually, guys, I, this might be a leather needle, if I'm not mistaken. And the reason that I mentioned that is because not all needles are created equal. Some of them have a larger eye than others. So I go with one that has the largest eye that I can uh, find to use for paper crafting. There's no sense in using the really tiny ones because you'll drive yourself crazy trying to thread them. And ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> At least I don't. <laughs> All right, so I went ahead and added this. Actually, I'm going to back up a second. I got ahead of myself, guys. Sorry. Um, I went in through one of the little buttonholes, okay? And this is doubled up. I'm going to try to double that up as much as possible. I know not everybody's into sewing, but I actually like it as much, believe it or not, as I like paper crafting. I just don't practice it as much. Anyway, the thread or double thread is through one little eye. I'm going to thread it now through the knot of my bow. Okay. In case you're new at this sort of thing, it can be done. All right. I'm going to go back now through the other hole in the button. And I know this is super simple for some of you guys, but believe it or not, not everybody um, knows these things. There's some novices that watch the channel, so I want to go ahead and include you guys as well. Just cutting that away. All right, now while that needle's still there, I'm just going to create a little knot. Because that just helps me hold the thread. That's the only reason why I left that there. And then I'm going to create another knot again. You just find the little techniques that work for you, you know? All right. So now I'm going to cut away. Cut away the needle. And just leave myself some little threads there. So if you see that, that's what I was making. And now this can embellish my cup here and looks super elegant and cute. So now I'm just gonna adhere that to the background. And what I'm going to do now is that I'm gonna end the video. I'm gonna show you guys, um, and I hate to do this, but I will have to end the video. Um, and I'll show you guys once this is all completed, what I can do is post pictures of all the little embellishments. If you guys would like me to do that, of course I have Instagram, so I can do that there. Um, okay, but that will go here, and then I'll show you guys the ones that I've already made. Because if it were up to me, I'd keep going, but because of my back, I can't so my apologies for not having added the rest of the items that I intended on using but I can use actually add a couple little marshmallows here and there because I love the shine so let me just go ahead and do that real quick um, 
And actually, I did say I was going to make that funny coffee cup. <laughs> so I kind of want to do that real quick. Because... Oh, I think it, it could be fun to just make a funny one. For no reason other than it will make me laugh when I look at it. Alright, so I'm adding some shiny little marshmallows here. And I could probably do a part two to this video, guys. I'm not sure if tomorrow I'll be able to come on here live, but there's that. I think it's super, super sweet. And I cut down the bow a little bit. I could probably cut it down a tiny bit more there. But there's that little coffee cup in the center. The uh, seam binding is just from my stash. And the Tonic Studios dies there used with the sequins in the center to make it a shaker and vellum. Super adorable. The other items that I made, for those of you who got here a little bit late, were these other embellishments that I use the smaller cups with. And I also use this very same cup here. Thank you so much. I use the same cup here in a different manner by cutting out the solid piece and then I cut into it with the um, the more intricate pieces. They're called verso dies because they cut into the background. I added another one of those little buttons there with the same pink thread. I stamped this. Now I did all the stamping off camera because I didn't want to keep you guys here too long. And then I did assemble these off camera. So they do have Nuvo drops. They've got glitter on them. Um, this other glitter glue I mentioned before, stamping, inking, uh, more thread. That This one I did live with you guys. And then here's this other one <laughs> that I tried to make the stick for, but that didn't work. <laughs> um, so let's try to make this funny one looking at you why not if you've got the stuff and it makes you smile and you can get creative with it then you should so i'm gonna have to turn it around because i can't i can't picture a person upside down i did that actually once in a psychology course i remember um where we had to take i was studying abnormal psychology we had to take a piece of paper put it on our heads and draw a portrait of ourselves. And that was so hysterically funny because the results, <laughs> it's like, I think we're all crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, if you're ever bored to tears, that's a fun game you can do at home with your children or whatever at a party. <laughs> I am totally going to do this. And I'm not going for cute. Okay, guys, I'm just going for a straight up this is somebody you might be seeing at a coffee shop staring at you <laughs> and he wants your number and you're like, um, I don't know about that. <laughs> so that's what I'm drawing here. In case you guys don't know this, I do, I do like to illustrate, so it's, it might be creepy, <laughs> Oh gosh, this person has a big smile. This person might have had too many marshmallows, but I'm going with that and now I'm going to go in with some ink. <clears throat> and guys, this is just for kicks and giggles, okay? I'm not, I'm not meaning to insult anyone or anything like that. This is just for fun. All right, now I'm going to go in with <laughs> some alcohol markers. <laughs> His eye just flew the other way. All right, I'm gonna go in with some alcohol markers here because if you thought I was just gonna leave this as one dimension, you were wrong. This is a person who likes to get up very early to have their coffee every morning. You see them standing in the line at Starbucks. <laughs> 
their frequent flyer customer, whatever they call that. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I can guarantee you, you will never see this on any other channel on YouTube. It's just not going to happen. And this is not Copic marker paper, but um, I don't think that's of any consequence. It's going to blend here a little bit. But can you imagine a series of cups? And this is something that I could design if you guys want me to. <laughs> a series of cups of all different faces. I'm happy to oblige if that's something that you're into. <clears throat> I could put them on my uh, my Etsy shop. <laughs> Those lips are a little too pink. Let me go in with this color. You can see anything can be done. Everything is possible. Absolutely, everything is possible in the world of crafting. And I'm gonna go back to this color. All right, so now I'm adding the, the uh, caffeinated eyes here. <laughs> oh, Lord. I can't wait to add more to this. Yes, uh, Chiquita, I'm going to be joining in just a couple of minutes. Just going to finish this little cup and show it to you guys. And uh, later on, if I finish adding hair and all that good stuff, <laughs> I'll be happy to add this to... <laughs> An Instagram post. Um, I'm just gonna add a little bit of shade here to these teeth and then you guys will get to see the finished project. Um, but there's a there's a memorable face. If <laughs> ah, oh how cute is that? Don't you want to see that first thing in the morning <laughs> when you walk in to a coffee shop? <laughs> So think of that, think of that for a little while. And <clears throat> I've got, uh, I've got some yarn. <laughs> Chiquita's hiding. <laughs> I've got some yarn so I can give it some hair and all that good stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish this little guy up and I'm gonna post pictures later on. <laughs> but I thank you guys for having been here with me. I love having fun, you know, as I say, I don't take myself too seriously. I love to enjoy crafting, enjoy the company of friends, and I thank you for spending time with me, because I know your time is valuable also. Um, yes, so you guys be inspired and be blessed, and thank you so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, ciao, ciao. This is the good stuff. <laughs> Oh, guys. Bye. Gonna try to find the button now. Woo! Sorry about that. Where'd it go? Somewhere. I don't remember. Here it is. <laughs>